All right. Hi, everyone. It's Natalie here, back with another channel message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, so please use your discernment when it comes to these readings. They may or may not resonate for you. If you need it a personal, you're more than welcome to email me. All right, let's see. Let's tap into the energy of this reading. We have black magic out here, okay? Mm. Attacking your chakras. All right, let's see. What is the energy for this reading right now? Holy Spirit and angels. What needs to be known? Fake spiritualist. So, okay. Let's see what else, please, for the collective. Holy Spirit and angels. Expressing your emotions. Dark presence. Okay. Yep. Um, looks like there's some sort of spiritualist out here. Could definitely be a tarot reader or some sort of practitioner out here who doesn't want people to express their emotions or something like that. They make people feel bad for expressing themselves. That's what I'm getting. Rebirth, transform. Heartbreaker energy. Spiritual war, demons versus angels. Authenticity, yeah, okay. Let me get one more, please. For the collective Holy Spirit and angels. Mature man, emperor energy. Looks like there was a fake spiritualist out here trying to um, deter a uh, emperor out here. Yeah, delusional, illusions, moon magic. This person was definitely delusional. They're using moon magic. They're using uh, magic to make someone look a certain way. Okay, glamour spells, things of that such, okay? This person has a dark presence around them. And you want to know something else? If it is a tarot reader and that card didn't even come out, but they're definitely a fake spiritualist, that's for sure. They, um, they, they're being ad spiritually, they're advising an emperor is what I'm getting out here. But you can't copy this spirit, like whatever this person was doing, like practicing, you can't copy this. So it's, I'm hearing copy. I don't see the word copy, but. I'm seeing, I'm hearing the word copy because authenticity is out here too. So, someone out here was messing with someone's uh, views of who's a fake spiritualist and who's not. I'm hearing flipping it. Like, someone out here was flipping the script, like, making someone seem like they weren't a spiritualist when they probably were because they're very authentic and they go through their transformations and rebirths and they express their emotions. Someone out here is the exact opposite. They, um are always on the wrong side of the spiritual war and they always have a dark presence around them. Like they don't operate out of um, actual, they don't operate out of the side that they're supposed to be operating at. Let me get one of these first. Yeah, control. take control of your own narrative. Unplug and relax for a spell. It's like when you don't do anything, it exposes this person though. Whoever this fake spiritualist is. Someone out here doesn't have the uh, the strength or the capacity to do something out here. Not that the way that they should. Uh, tree, let them go. Someone out here is definitely being let go, that's for sure. Let's see. Eight of Wands and the Chariot. Yeah, someone here is moving forward. Someone here can't be stopped or something like that. There's this fake spiritualist out here who could be obsessed with ghosts or I don't know if she's obsessed with ghosts, but she's obsessed with death or something. Clarify what's going on with the collective. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like something out here was a waste of money. Queen of Pentacles out here and the Page of Wands in the reverse. What, does someone invest a lot of money to attack someone else's money since I saw chakras being attacked? Four of wands in the verse. Someone's stability is getting attacked. Page of swords in the verse and the three of pentacles. So I guess there's like a group of people that try to team up together and attack someone's stability. I feel like they're the ones with all the, the instability now. Yeah, something out here was definitely a waste of time. Someone out here was listening to a fake spiritualist, and I hope it wasn't this emperor energy. 
because they could be getting the backlash too. So it could be the fake spiritualist and the emperor that was getting the spiritual advice from this person. Okay, someone out here is woken. Like they're they're woken up. Let me get one more. I feel they see something for what it is now. Yeah, the fool in the reverse. Now they're not taking any more movements towards someone or something. It's like I'm getting someone here like they were going to take a leap of faith to something, but now they're not. Pisces, Aries energy. Yeah, we have the Hierophant out here in the reverse. So this is this could also be like a marriage or something. Someone thought that they were going to marry somebody, but they changed their mind. or Something out here switched up on somebody. Someone out here can't move forward. Yeah, there we go. Someone out here doesn't trust anybody. Someone out here has been playing with someone's money. Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Maybe lying or, I don't know, just saying whatever just to get some money out here. Ten of Swords out here and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone out here is like, um, they're ending things. I feel like, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Someone out here is like suffering uh, financially. Don't tell me that it is. It is. It's the high priestess in the reverse. Someone out here was listening to a fake high priestess. And I'm getting like, hey, you're not real. It's like that. I just realized you're not real. It's like that type of energy. And they're starting to realize the injustice is going on and they're mad. They're kind of mad about this. What else, please? Let me get one more. Six of Swords out here is the outcome, which is great. So someone out here realized that they invested a lot of uh, money into something or energy or it's like whatever they did, it was a waste of time. They invested into a Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone that like their money just goes down the drain or I don't know, some sort of investment. King of Cups in the reverse, the Ten of Pentacles out here and the Devil. Yeah, someone out here was definitely after someone's financial abundance. Could definitely be a family for some of you, but I'm getting more like... um. Someone out here was definitely obsessed with money. That's what I'm getting. Three of cups out here and the ace of wands in the reverse. Yeah, someone out here is being moved away from. It's a queen of swords in the reverse, four of cups in the reverse. There was a line going on. That's what it, that's what it was. Clarify the uh, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse for the collective. Okay, so we have this three of... Wow, okay. Someone invested into something based off of a lie, but it was like a rumor out here with three of cups in the reverse. Yeah, the two of cups in the reverse. Someone out here was doing things based off of a lie, based off of gossip, based off of what other people were saying, based off of what friends and family members were saying that really weren't their friends or something like that. Unhealed people. Someone is starting to realize that that was like a waste of time to do that. I feel like they just invested a lot of like, someone out here invested either a lot of lies or something. Clarify the four of wands in the reverse. Yeah, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Oh, the liar? The real unstable one? Maybe they try to say that you are unstable. Eight of Cups out here. Hangman and the Four of Swords. Seven of Cups in the reverse with the Sun. This person... Clarify the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, the King of Swords upright. Yeah, he's not stupid. She's stupid. That's what I'm getting out here. It's like... There's a, a feminine out here who thinks that her words matter or something like that. Yeah, her words don't matter. Yeah, the high priestess out here. This king of this king of swords out here is very emotionally. I mean, amen, they're really mentally um, stable out here. Someone else is not. I'm also getting that with this justice and the high priestess. That's a very interesting combination because it always represents hidden justice out here. 
this king of swords maybe did some sort of investigation or something behind the scenes. Maybe someone out here tried to, like I said, attack a high priestess or something. Okay, someone that was like all by themselves, protected by spirit or protected by like the ethers in a way. Okay, someone out here did an injustice to that person. This king of swords is starting to look at this queen of swords in reverse like they're crazy and unstable. Clarify the hangman upright. The lovers in the verse. Yeah, someone out here, is, there's going to be a breakup because of this. Because someone out here is woke. The tower. The empress in the verse. Wow. This empress is going to go, this distorted feminine is going to be going through a lot. They're going to have to give up or let go of something. Or there's like something that they can't lie about anymore. Clarify the lovers in the verse. And I feel like this person was a spiritualist or they tried to be spiritual. Yeah, we have the emperor out here. Yeah, he's making decisions. There's a divine masculine out here. There's a divine masculine out here. And the women cards are in the reverse. So this is a karmic woman involved. She really tried to lie and project her life on a divine feminine or someone out here. I don't see a divine feminine out here just yet. But it's giving me that type of energy. It's giving me that vibe. Someone lied about their lifestyle. Hmm. Not that it's a big deal, but there was some big lie out here due to attacking somebody. Like it, it led to someone out here being attacked. We have um, the fool out here in the verse. Why is this here? For the collective. Fool in the verse, please, for the collective. The two of cups in the reverse. Yeah, someone's like, I'm not marrying you or I'm not. Someone out here is really, really close to marriage with somebody too. Judgment. Queen of Wands out here and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the uh, two of cups in the reverse. The six of the six of swords in the reverse. Yeah, someone is not moving on the karma waters. They're like, we're gonna talk about this. Someone out here being getting questioned or something like that. Yeah, it's like someone here is rushing in to do what's right or rushing in to do some sort of a, a judgment call. Someone out here is about justice. Clarify the seven of swords in the reverse for the collective. Yeah, there he is again. Someone out here is mad because of the lies, because of the gossip. Four swords out here and the seven of swords. All they had to do was sit there and meditate for a minute and they got the answers by themselves. They understand that something out here was an injustice of someone trying to hold them back or whatever, holding on to money. They, they almost, I'm hearing that they almost got fooled or they almost missed it. That's why they're so mad. It was like, it, it all, they almost missed it. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Someone out here is a con man. Someone out here hates con men. Clarify the uh, Knight of Swords. This masculine is not playing. Yeah, we have the death card out here. Someone actually tried to kill somebody. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. What? Someone out here actually tried to kill somebody with a death card and a Knight of Swords. They got caught, though. Let's clarify that again. Why the death card with the Knight of Swords? They caught them paying for something, I just heard. Knight of Swords with the death card. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. To stop something, stop someone's movement. Also stop their movement. Someone out here was going to plan someone's death for money. And this person is a fake spiritualist with a dark presence around them. This person 
probably pretty much does worship the devil or something like that because they were plotting someone's death. This emperor energy has sniffed this person out. And they could have been in a relationship with this person. That's what even makes it more sick. Like, it's like this person is waking up to a lot of things and it's like making them sick. It's like they, they got to sit down for this because it's like whatever is happening, it's like they're angry that they're a fool to either break up with somebody or be with somebody. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone was doing all this over money. Six of Cups in reverse and a Three of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Someone out here could have been using children to get money, but that's not for all of you. I'm thinking like something about someone's past. Clarify the Three of Wands in the reverse with the Six of Cups in the reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. Whatever this person is waiting for, I don't know. It's like, give me a bite. Someone got caught in the midst of waiting for something. Now everything is falling apart. They have no collaborations, no one to work with. They're in this con man energy. It's like they're trying to rob Peter to pay Paul type of energy. No stability, no caring energy out here for somebody. I'm also getting something about no self-care too. Someone out here is losing their children or losing their stability or something like that. This is crazy. Clarify the high priestess in the reverse. Judgment. Yeah. Eight of wands. Two of wands. Six of pentacles in the reverse. Five of wands. The empress in the reverse. The fool in the reverse. Nine of cups in the reverse. There's going to be some sort of fight breaking out because this person is like, they're going to have to move or they're going to have to like leave wherever they're at, leave their neighborhood or something because there's like too many people like, Someone out here got to leave their neighborhood or leave a community of people. But these people don't like this person. So they're not going to help this person leave. Looks like someone out here needs help leaving too. They're trying to leave and they need help leaving and no one's even helping them leave. They don't want anything to do with this person. This is crazy. But they've been judged as a fake spiritualist. Clarify judgment. If they were a real spiritualist, they would have seen this coming, but they didn't. Clarify judgment. Yeah, the world card out here. This person has to distance themselves. It's over for this person. Clarify the world. Two of wands and the six of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, they gotta they gotta move, relocate, do something, but they don't have the money. Someone out here is not helping them. Someone out here is not helping them relocate. So that sucks to, to be stuck somewhere where no one likes you, but they won't help you leave either. So it's like that type of energy that this person is going through. We have the Six of Swords out here. Someone is leaving though. Clarify the Six of Swords. As the outcome please for the collective. Eight of Wands. Yeah, definitely movement for somebody out here. Yeah, someone out here is leaving a mental entrapment, going towards victory and success, going towards good things and, like, good karma. Someone out here is mad. They're money hungry. They know that they're going to be missing out on money. They're stressed out. They're greedy right now. They're very selfish, and they're realizing that. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Page of Swords in the verse. Like, someone out here is actually leaving someone, like, with nothing. Or just leaving someone, not maybe not with nothing, but definitely like to fend for themselves. Nine of Wands energy. They have to be in this warrior energy now. This person thought it was funny by gossiping. The Three of Cups in the verse is the first card that came out. This person started all this through gossip. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. It's like no one even wants to be around them. They're heartbroken because people don't want to be around this person. But they were doing illusions. They were doing moon magic. They're really delusional. And I feel like also 
it's it's just kind of hard for this mask there's a mask on out here someone out here is being let go or someone out here um is letting go of this person and it's like they they don't want to let this person go neither but they're just mad at how this person moves throughout their life it's like um they don't want to be around this person at all So we have shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. I feel like that's pep talk for this fake spiritualist. Um, I wonder what will happen next. Ready to adventure. Precipice of change. Pause before action. Impossible things. Working through disbelief. Imaginative belief and fresh perspective. Yeah, this person is going to have to go through a lot of shadow work. We have who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. Choices, feeling blocked and restrained. There was some sort of secret out here. And this person is like, who are you? Like, it's like that type of energy. Let's see what else can I pull for you guys. So it looks like this masculine is like fighting for you or something like that. Or fighting to leave this person alone. Loneliness, I know that I'm never alone. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Someone out here is leaving someone on their own because they're trusting their intuition. Maybe they were afraid to leave this person alone. They're not afraid to leave this person alone anymore. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And we all have this blue and purple out here. A lot of third eye crown chakra energy. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. What else? This person is like freeing themselves from this energy and they're kind of glad. They're kind of glad that they were able to see what, what the heck was going on out here. Someone out here is like extremely fake and they were compared to someone that was authentic and expressed their emotions. And whoever was authentic and was expressing their emotions, emotions they try to make it seem like they were fake, which is terrible. Push through any insecurity. Make time for self-love. This person was doing a lot of projecting energy onto you, like trying to switch their destiny with yours. And you were a little bit confused. Like you are probably saying like, am I a bad person or something? No, they were just projecting their energy onto you. We have leave the past behind and know that you are loved. So it's like, again, like I just did in my last reading, it's, it's a lot about uh, erasing. It's a lot about um, controlling your own narrative of your life. This person smelt your person, this divine masculine energy has felt the the fakeness in someone. Yeah, look, there's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. Yeah, so it's like they they're not gonna honor the fake spiritualist anymore. Grief. Tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts. So this person definitely regrets doing this based off of a, a fake spiritualist and what they had to say about you or something like that individuality and surrender sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying the ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe yeah you definitely unplugged from the situation and all it did was expose this person like you didn't have to do much to break this person's moon magic We have 8th house, sex, intimacy, inheritance, taxes, property, mystery. This person definitely has hidden motives. Um, income, daily routine, work ethic, values, material possessions. So you operated out of your 2nd house. This person operated out of the 8th house on what they can get away with. Um, go on vacation. Uh, epiphany, tower moment out here. Someone out here like had like some sort of epiphany by just like leaving, okay? You're an inspiration. Sleep with the enemy. Yeah, someone out here was like uh sleeping around with the enemy or something and didn't even know it. First house appearance, fourth house root self-care. Yeah. 
it had a lot to do with the way that you looked or something or where your roots came from someone out here was um uh dedicating their life to ancestors that they weren't even attached to like their family lineage wasn't even attached to and you could tell by the way that this person looked that they weren't attached to those ancestors or something and they were still trying to like make it work Ooh, generational curse scorpio death obsession and transform prostitution and sex work someone's generational curse is basically sex work and being obsessed that scorpio energy does represent like a lot of sexual energy that's this person's generational curse out here this is how they're gonna have to always operate and it's basically because they try to like put that energy onto you guys okay or try to say that you guys were doing it so this is your guys's reading i hope this resonated for you if it did go ahead and like subscribe share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos see you next time bye